Uh, welcome back. Paul Heaton had eight top five albums during his time as the front man of not one, but two bands during the 80s and 90s. First the House Martins, and later, of course, the Beautiful South. Now, 25 years after the first ever hit single, Happy Hour, Paul's released a new solo album and is about to start a tour of the UK. We're going to speak to him in a moment. Let's have a listen to one of the songs from the album, The Ladder's Bottom Rung. Had his work van to tax and a tiny flat to heat. The car door it was open, but the handbag on the seat. When the village choir burned down that day, still that choir they sung. A strange moral fiber of the ladder's bottom rung. Holding hymn books to their holy chest, to everywhere they climb. A strange moral fiber of the ladder's bottom rung. The folk you learn to trust the most are the folk with hard Paul, hands. Paul, welcome. And congratulations. You, great to have a new album out, but we're going to take you. you back 25 years, mm -hmm. a quarter of a century. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I do believe you've brought, <laughs> you've brought in your diary. I've brought in my diary because you forget how exciting it was um, 25 years ago. You know, um, to, for, uh, for example, like the, my first visit to Top of the Pops, and with the House Martins, you assumed, with it, particularly with a song like Happy Hour, it's going to be a one, you know, one hit wonders or whatever. So we were running around the top of the pop studio trying to get everybody's autograph and uh, keeping it oh, and putting it in people's diary. Who I've was got, on with you? This well, is precious. In the, in the, outside the BBC was Barry McGuigan, but in the studio was Paul McCartney and there was Sly Fox and Samantha Fox, which I didn't get their autographs, but I got Paul McCartney and I was very excited to get that. Because you don't feel as though it's going to, oh, you're going to be doing this for 25 years. You think, well, this is, this is my only shot at it. What a funny old melting pot that is, Paul McCartney and Samantha Fox. Exactly, yeah, and Claire and Friends. I don't know if you remember, was it, they, they were a kids, a kids band uh, with uh, a song about grandma or something. When, um, <laughs> when you released Happy Hour, um, yeah. so you thought, oh, you know, we've, we've written a catchy tune, it's going to be a one-hit wonder, we, you know, we might not last. Yeah. And then you must have been overwhelmed with the success. Yeah, I mean, you, uh, uh, we, we weren't absolutely sure it was going to be a one-hit wonder. We just felt, you know, well, here's a song that's going to do fairly well for us. Let's hope there's another hit. But after that, yeah, I was astounded, really. It is one of those songs. I mean, do, does it make you happy hearing it? Because I think for a lot of other people, I don't know, you're in the car and that comes on, and it, it genuinely lifts the mood. Are you, are you yeah. sick and tired of it? Does it have a different effect? Not, not really. Um, a lot of people used to send me letters saying, oh, we, you know, we, uh, we put it on the jukebox in the pub, yeah. and the whole pub started uh, dancing yeah. and things like that. So a lot of people have got different stories. Um, that connected with the song, you know. Well, you must have heard it quite a lot then, because you've been on a, a tour of pubs, haven't you? I ha yeah, I did a, a tour of pubs last year, um, uh, about 900 miles on my bicycle, mm. uh, playing in pubs, cycling from pub to pub. And next year, I'm doing a, a tour called 50-50, where I'm doing 50 miles for every year I've been on the planet. Um, so that'll be 2,500 miles. Sorry, I'll be how doing. old are you going to be? I'll be 50 next year. Oh and this is um, around the UK, is it? It's going to be around the UK and Ireland. Um, so I'm, I'm starting off in, uh, in Manchester, going down to Cornwall, Wales, um, Ireland, Scotland, and then back around. So. so is the beauty of this... Well, you can see the beauty of you playing in pubs. Yeah. That's yeah. got to be nice. <laughs> I mean, are you combining a few uh, pleasures all in one, cycling and the pubs and well, the singing? Yeah, it is really, because uh, I find uh, cycling, particularly on the cycle tour we did, because the weather was so nice last year, um, it's quite exhilarating. People are saying, you must be really tired when you get to the pub and do a concert, but both activities, cycling and performing, uh, they're uppers, really, so I wasn't yeah. tending to get too tired. Well, how do you, how would you describe your music now? Because, you know, you've gone through a... You've been on a musical journey, as people I've say. I've been on a musical journey. This is acid country, this album. Yeah, called, that's right, it? yeah. I wouldn't say I've travelled particularly far <laughs> musically. I'm not yeah. a great one for experimentation. Um, but, yeah, I'm sort of still making pop records. Why really, is it acid you know? country? I mean, it sounds a bit it like was, acid house, but it it's was, certainly not that. It was supposed to be the sort of the state of the nation, really. Uh, our nation. Uh, and also uh, a musical genre. You know, country with a, a, a sort of bitter taste to it. And do people always, oh. do you play Happy Hour? Um, I haven't played Happy Hour. I've played a couple of House Martins. So I mean, I'm playing, I'm going on tour tomorrow and I'll be playing a couple of House Martins songs. I play Me in the Farmer sometimes and I'll keep the rest secret for, you, for your viewers. OK. Uh, very good. You didn't cycle here this morning, did you? I didn't, know. I, 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 I walked. Save it for the tour. <laughs> yeah. Lovely to see you here this morning. Thanks for having me. Anything else we might read in your diary? Um, no, I just, uh, being a frugal Yorkshireman, I did keep... Uh, I did keep the amount we were being paid for gigs, £455 oh, at Brunel University. Just for the whole No, band. just for the whole oh. lot. 
Yeah. Lovely to see you here, Paul. You haven't done too on. badly <laughs> since, yeah. have you? Lovely to Thank see you. you. Paul's new album, Acid Country, out now. His tour kicks off tomorrow night in Brighton. We're back tomorrow, 6 o'clock, BBC One. Thanks for your company. Bye-bye.